Hi! While it certainly is a challenge to find kitchen appliances that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source to point you in the direction of the brands you can trust. Let this channel be that source. In preparing this video countdown of the top models, the team researched literally dozens of tools, ranking each one based on its performance, its affordability, and the reliability of its manufacturer, and also read real-life consumers' opinions about each product. Let's see which are the best models in this year. Hi, I'm Phil McKnight from Breville, and today I'd like to show you how to get the most out of your Smart Grinder Pro. When grinding for espresso, it's really important that you use a single wall filter basket. That way you'll get the maximum flavour potential of the coffee that you're making. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to insert our single wall filter basket into our porter filter. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you insert the correct cradle into the grinder. So our grinder comes with two cradles, one for 50 slash 54 millimeter and 58 millimeter. Today we're going to use the 58 millimeter. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to grind into our porter filter. So we just insert our porter filter into our grinder cradle. We set our grind size. So here we have it on about 14 to start. Just adjust that depending on flow rate. We're also going to set the number of shots. So we're using a double cup basket. So we're setting this to two shots. And now we can start the grinding process. We can do that by pressing the start cancel button or momentarily just pressing the porter filter in and releasing. So now I've used the convenient pause function. This will allow us to settle and collapse our coffee in the filter basket, then reinsert into the porter filter cradle and continue grinding with the remaining dose. So now our coffee's finished grinding. And this is the way freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee looks. It always looks like you have too much, but once it's tamped, it'll be at exactly the right level. If you love drip filter coffee, it's really easy and convenient to grind directly into a gold tone filter or into a paper filter basket. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is remove the cradle if it's been installed. You need to adjust your grind setting. So you adjust your grind setting up into the drip filter zone. So about 50 is a good starting point. All we need to do then is select the number of cups that we're going to brew. So I'm going to brew four cups. And then we just need to insert our paper filter basket into our grinder and press the start cancel button to begin the grinding process. And there we are, we're ready to brew our drip filter coffee. If for any reason you need to extend the grinding range of your grinder, if you're at the finer setting but still need to go finer, or if you're at the coarsest end and need to go coarser, we have an adjustable upper burr that allows you to extend the range of your grinder. It's easy to use, simple to adjust, and I'll show you how to do that now. All you need to do is empty the beans out of your hopper, unlock the hopper from the top of the grinder, then unlock the upper burr, And once you take that out, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is grab this wire, release it from the burr, then you'll notice on the burr there are numbers. If you'd like the grinder to go coarser, all you need to do is rotate the upper burr clockwise in the direction of where it says coarse, so the numbers are getting larger. Larger number, coarser particle sizes. So just one at a time. We recommend that you only make one adjustment at a time, then you can reinstall, test the result, and make a further adjustment if necessary. Once you've made your adjustment, all you need to do is reinstall the wire handle back into the upper burr body. Use the red index mark as a guide. Stretch it across. Make sure it's inserted firmly in both sides. Now all we need to do is reinstall the upper burr in the body of the grinder. So just align the red mark with the align mark in the grinder body, and then rotate around until it clicks into the locked position. So the Smart Grinder Pro, that's your start to making great tasting coffee.
Hi, my name is Sam and I'm the technician here at Ranchilio for our Homeland Machines of Sylvia and the Rockies. And we just want to show you today some of the, the basics of our machines. Ranchilio offers two different models of our Rocky grinders. We have our um, SD, which is Sans Doser, so it doesn't have a doser on it. And this one is our SS, which has a doser on it. Um, so the main difference between these two is that when the coffee is ground, the, the grounds go into this chamber here. And then we can put them into the portafilter basket with this lever. And then with this one, our, our doserless one, um, you can put the portafilter onto the fork and then the grounds will go directly into your basket when the button is activated. This machine has two buttons that need to be activated in order for the machine to turn on. So we have the main power switch here, um, and then we also have this button here that when activated, it'll start up the motor and it'll grind our coffee and the coffee will come out of the chute. So some of our features of our Rocky SD, our, our doserless, is that it is an adjustable um, grind. So what you can do is you press this button, you can move the whole hopper, and what this does is it's telling the burrs inside how far apart they need to be from each other. Um, so what it does is that the more higher number you get, the further apart your burrs are going to be, and this will affect how coarse your grind is. My name is Ashley. I want to introduce you to Bodum's Bistro Burr Grinder. These are definitely a must-have in any coffee lover's collection. The beauty of a burr grinder as opposed to a blade grinder is that it actually crushes the beans as opposed to slicing them, which allows the flavor profile to remain intact. The catcher here is made of borosilicate glass, which actually helps eliminate static cling. As you can see here, there are actually several settings which allow you to ground coarsely for a French press, all the way to finely for a cup of espresso. There's also a timer feature which allows you to set the amount of time that you need for your grind. If you're serious about your coffee routine, this is definitely a grinder for you. The KitchenAid Blade Coffee Grinder combines high performance with classic styling to deliver gourmet results every time. Flawless fingertip control lets you grind enough beans to brew up to 12 cups of coffee quickly and with minimal noise. And the bowl, blade, and cover are dishwasher safe. It's how great coffee gets made. Premium performance, exceptional results, legendary KitchenAid quality. Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Supreme Grind Burr Grinder. It's great, especially if you are a coffee lover. It's important to grind your beans right before you're brewing your coffee for the freshest, most flavorful cup. This product is really interesting because you can set it for anywhere from four to 18 cups by sliding the bar. And what happens is when you hit start, it will grind exactly the right amount of coffee that you need for your coffee maker. The other thing that's nice is it's a half pound hopper, which is removable, so is the lid. So you just pour your beans right in, put the lid on. And I should also mention this is the removable chamber that holds the ground beans. It holds up to enough coffee for 32 cups. You just choose your size and you hit the power bar. And today I'm just gonna choose four. 
you hit start and it's automatically going to grind the exact amount of beans that you want. But something I should mention is that it goes from fine just by twisting this all the way to coarse. And fine is used for espresso and coarse would be used for things like French press. Today I'm going to put it on medium and I'm just going to hit start. And there you have it. And then all you do is you remove the chamber in the front here. You don't even have to remeasure your coffee. You just put it right into the filter and you'll have a beautiful, fresh and flavorful cup of coffee by using the burr grinder.